Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing fine. Today it's a little haul of makeup and beauty care related items from Amazon. What happened is, well, shopaholic that I am, I had a few items in my basket and they were add-on items. So I had to make it up to £20. It was just so hard for me to do that, you know. So, um, I thought I would show you what I got for £20 on Amazon, if you fancied having a look. So, um, let's get down to it. Now, the first item that I picked up was one of those extra items. It's a beauty cleaning, um, sp not a sponge. Um, I'll show you. There we go. And it's for cleaning your brushes after you've used them. Um, they should be cleaned every time. Some people do it once a week. Some people do it once a month. Some people never do it. I'm a every time do it. So I have a huge collection of brushes. Um, and they regularly get turned over and um, when I've got a few to clean, I just do them all in one go. Normally I've got a cleaning machine, one of these ones that spin round, and they're fantastic. But sometimes you just can't be bothered getting it out and getting everything lined up and together. And So I thought this item would be very useful. What you do is you put it on, this, I don't know if you can see, there's a little holder there, so you put it between your fingers, or that way, between your fingers that way or that way, and swirl the brush around in some soap, which I thought would be quite good fun. Now, my next item is something that I've wanted for a while. It's, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I call it a cognac sponge. Um, I don't know if you'll agree that's how you say it. I'll show you and you can decide yourselves. Okay, so it's a black sponge and it's supposed to cleanse your face. If you've seen any of my previous videos, especially the skincare one, you'll know I've got a thing about cleansing my face, doing double cleanses. So this is what it looks like. You wet it, soak it and you use it over your face and then you leave it to dry afterwards. No idea how it works. If you want to know, I'll let you know. Um, leave a comment down below and I'll either do a wee video on it or I'll just let you know during a video. Now, next things that I've got, they're all to do with eyes. I've got an eye primer, an eyeliner, in fact a couple of eyeliners and eye pigments as well so we'll start off this is a shadow from model zone hopefully you can see that no problem and let's open this so you can see the color i'm into my bright colors at the moment i wonder if you can see my eyes the purple eyeliner um and wait a moment I've even got a wee flick. Can you believe that? I've been practicing that and I think I know how to do it. Um, but you probably can't see so. <laughs> now, as I said, this is an eyeshadow and it's from Model Zone and that is the colour. Isn't that pretty? Well, let's have a look at on the skin. That's a washed out look for it and you could build it up I'm sure of yeah that's and that's a built up version of it which I think is very pretty and it would be nice just over the lid nothing further up um, but just over the lid to give a nice wash of colour hopefully it would go well with my eye colour which is a hazel green kind of thing. 
Next up is a Glam Crystal Dazzling Gel Liner. Um, this is from the brand Collection. So that's one, I think it's normally in Boots of Chemist. And it's a quite a cheap brand. So that's what it looks like. And can you see all the glitter in that? So I'm going to put that over the top of that eyeshadow just so we can see what like it is. And I'm needing to put a couple of layers on just to make it stand out. It's a wee bit chunky. And can you see that's how it looks right in the middle of that eyeshadow there. Um, I think it's quite pretty. Been lovely for a night out. In fact, I'm a, a big proponent of wearing glitter all the time. I believe I rarely go out on nights out. If you've watched mine, you know I rarely go outside at all. But I do like to wear makeup in the house. So, um, because it just makes me feel a wee bit more special. <laughs> Not special in a bad way though. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that falling on the ground. We'll hope it's not smashed on my wooden floor. Next one is another eyeliner. Now this is just a cool pencil by Copying It S. Have a look it's on the end there. It's that's the name. And it's a white eyeliner. Again, I'll put this over. In fact, I'll do it beside and over. So you can see the difference. This is actually for... It's for two reasons. One is if I put on an eyeliner over... A coloured eyeliner over a black eyeliner. It sometimes mutes down the colour. So I thought if I had a white liner first and then I put a coloured one on on top it would make it really bright and really look good. So that's the difference. One over the top of the shadow and one on its own. It actually stands out quite well so I'm quite pleased with that. And it's just a normal cool eyeliner. Well, it can also be used in your waterline um, to make your eyes pop. Um, that's what they say. It makes your eyes pop and makes them brighter. I don't see a difference to be honest. Maybe I'm doing it wrong but I, I'll layer it on and it still <laughs> doesn't work. So um, it's mainly for the eyeliner um, not for the waterline that I've bought that. Now this is Technic. Now this is a cheap brand um, you also get in the the drugstore as they call it although what bothers me is Boots is technically a drugstore but when you go in Boots they've got high-end or mid-range products as well so how can you class that as a drugstore when they've got um, Clinique and Smashbox and Estee Lauder and all the other things that you wouldn't actually think, well, that's just a cheap version, you know, a cheapy um, piece of makeup. Just a pet peeve there. So this one is from Technic, as I said, and it's an eyeshadow primer. I would always recommend using an eyeshadow primer, but perfectly up to you. The reason I use it is I have very thin eyelids and my veins show through. They're not very attractive. I've actually been on days when I don't wear anything at all, no makeup. I've been asked, oh, what's that colour on your eyelids? No, that's just my eyelids. It's not looking very good. I have my painted lip. So... I wear that to disguise the colour and then it means that any colour I do put down is on a neutral base so I don't actually mess things up and it doesn't change the colour of the eyeshadow that I'm choosing. Now the final thing that I received, 
in this shipping which came in three packages all ordered at the same time all come from Amazon and came from in three different packages just a waste of packing envelopes I'm on Prime so I, I can't say that it's a waste of uh, postage but why put in three cardboard boxes when you can just fit it in one another pet peeve of mine you're getting all my pet peeves today so this was eyeshadow pigments mineral based eyeshadow pigments um, and it says there's 20 of them and 20 different colours as I said I'm into my colours at the moment let's have a little look at this smaller than what I thought it would be but at the same time I never I mean you see these people on YouTube and they show you their empties oh I finished this and I finished that I never finish anything when it goes off you know very rarely do I finish a shampoo to the very end it has to be something that I really like otherwise it's half used and I think oh, I'm fed up with that I'm going on to something else that's just a bit of a waste um, but it's often my hair gets too used to something and it just looks greasy after even after washing so I um, hope it doesn't today it's only fresh today <laughs> oh feel pleased with myself so this is the uh, eyeshadow powders it's in a pretty little circle um, kind of thing. Nice uh, decoration on the top. So when you open it, they each have their individual spatulas. And as you can see, all the different colours, hopefully. Um, colour chart going. And because I've got blue on my hand, I'm going to go for green. Just to show you how... Oh, it's a tiny little, and the powder's not coming all the way up. Let's have a look. In the centre, you can see it is actually just a little hole. They're all stuck together, so you can't actually take them apart. So if you were travelling, you, you would have to take the whole thing. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a very... It says it's pigmented, but I'm not noticing much pigment in this. I'll show you. There you are. I wonder if they're all like that, or if that one was just a clear um, one. We'll try another shade of green. This one's more of a khaki green. Teeth shaking, tapping the green, the container will make it more no so they're all quite sheer colors which hopefully on top of that's the second one down there and the first one there um on top of the white eyeliner as i said before uh, it would make it pop more make it stick make it pop and hopefully i'll be trying all these out nice bright colors for me and there's 40 grams in total and there's 20 colours so it's 2 grams in each one and I don't know if you'll see this but the top is very pretty showing it uh, right through in there the butterfly and the hearts around it it's just actually quite nice for even for decoration <laughs> am I sad or what? <laughs> And that is today's haul from Amazon. If you're interested in more of these hauls, because this is me, shopaholic, I do buy quite a lot of them, um, let me know and in the comments below and I'll be happy to show you what I haul as I go along. Um, and I think that's all for me today. So I hope you have a great day, a great week and come back and enjoy yourself again. Just have a laugh. See you later. Bye.